house. Peter Stanley got a um, hot test today, and I just received a box from Juanitos Peppers. Some very nice looking peppers in there. So I'm looking forward to reviewing some of these. Um, the one that I'm going to do tonight is the, um, it's called the Scotch Brain. I believe it's a cross between a Scotch Bonnet and a Yellow Brain Strain. Um, I'm not sure of the origin of who, who crossed it, but um, it's a really, really pretty pepper. Nice and see the uh, get to focus really bumpy bright yellow um, uh, if you want any uh, more information on how this is grown um, uh, the source of the pepper contact one of these peppers I'll put a link to um, some way to contact him uh, probably I'll put a link to his YouTube channel uh, he just released a grow update that's got these in it as well as some other peppers they sent me um, it's also a um, he, he does grow logs on the hot pepper and I'll put a link to his uh, this year's grow log also um, anyway let's um, cut this open and we'll see what it looks like on the inside Yeah, it's really, really cool looking pepper. Let's see how this guy weighs. Feels pretty thick. Let's see, twelve point nine grams. Pretty thick wall. Not a whole lot of sun on that piece. That piece has quite a bit, it looks like. It has a really nice smell. Almost kind of fruity. Really pretty on the inside. Cool. All right. Well, let's see what it tastes like. All right, I'm back. Um, okay, got the uh, Scotch Brain from Juanita's Peppers. So then that in two bites. <clears throat> a lot of pepper. Really, really juicy. Really juicy. Crunchy. Um, there's a tiny undertone of bitterness, but most of it was a really um, kind of fruity, tangy. I didn't really get hardly any floral. But the, um, got a pretty immediate mouth burn. Kind of on my lips because it was so juicy, it was sort of hard to keep going. Um, 
Basically, it's kind of in the front of my mouth right now. <clears throat> a lot of it on my tongue. Um, really a good flavor. I wish I would have eaten it in two bites. It was just kind of a lot to chew through and swallow at once. But... <clears throat> So far the heat's not, um, it's got a good strong heat, but it's not overpowering. Um, it's really, really good pepper. It's really kick-ass looking too. I really like how it looks, the bumps and the, the yellow. It's really pretty. Um, <clears throat> It's not. It's definitely not nearly as hot as like a yellow brain strain. <clears throat> Maybe a little hotter than a Scotch bonnet. Uh, <clears throat> kind of reminds me of the level of heat is like ice cream scorpion, but it's not the same kind of flavor. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, it'd be really good in a lot of things. Um, a lot of things. It's got that fruity citrusness that would be good in a lot of these kind of like fruit based sauces. Um, good powder. I really like that. <clears throat> That's something I like to get some seeds for and try to grow next year. Um, really good for a yellow based sauce. I mean, it's just good color. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I did pick up a little bit of bitterness up front. It's kind of like under underlying, but there's no bad aftertaste. Um, I don't think it's going to get any hotter than this. It's Heat's kind of moved back a little bit, a little bit of roof of my mouth, but it's it's not that bad. It's actually going down. Uh, <clears throat> um, can't think of much else to add. It was really really delicious. Um, just want to say thanks, Juanita, for sending me that. I really appreciate it, and I hope to get some of those others soon. Um, <clears throat> But I want to try that first. It just really it was so pretty. I wanted to. I was curious how how it would taste. Um, cool. Yeah, really good pepper. That was the um, Scotch Brain. Um, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.